sweet celebrations, but the UK's new Prime Minister has a daunting to-do list topped by soaring energy bills and a fast-approaching economic recession. To help her, she needs her own top team. So Liz Truss spent her first few hours in number 10 sacking some of the old cabinet and creating her own. The appointments came fast and furious, but with an emerging theme. A predominance of those who backed her for the premiership, but it was also noticeably diverse. Heading the list, a new chancellor or finance minister, Kwasi Kwarteng. Suella Braverman becomes the new Home Secretary, replacing Priti Patel. And Therese Coffey gets the health portfolio and becomes Deputy Prime Minister, making the Truss and Coffey top duo the first all-female one in history. James Cleverly becomes Foreign Secretary, replacing Truss herself. While Ben Wallace broke the pattern and remains as Defence Secretary, a position he's held since 2019. Creating cabinets and appointing their support staff can take days, but Truss has to hit the ground running. She has her fans, but also her critics. Why am I here is because I've, I support Liz Truss and I think that she's a great, I think she's a great Prime Minister for our country. I think that the new Prime Minister will in many ways disappoint the country. I don't think she's going to be the right fit for the job. She used to be a Liberal Democrat, now she's not. She used to be a Remainer, now she's not. Typically for London, it rained on Truss's parade for her first day in the job, but that's the least of her problems as she now gets down to work.